Welcome back to another episode of Story in the Can. Um, if you don't know what Story in the Can is, we've got a video talking about it here. But what we're going to do is pick a location, an object, a character and a scenario out of these tins, make up a story, and then halfway through, we're going to change the genre. So we're going to pick those out right now. Object is a light bulb. Um, location is a school. Our scenario is a shootout. The character is a shop assistant. So... Shop assistant, school, light bulb, and it's a shootout. Um, it could be that the shop assistant has chased a kid who's shoplifting back to the school. He's stole a light bulb. I mean, uh, yeah, we can. I like the idea of the shop assistant is being told by the manager the kids have stole something. So like, it runs and goes back to the school, but the school's like so busy. But she should recognises his backpack, so she goes to the principal and goes, "What can I? Someone just sneak something from our store. We've got a photograph of him. Blah blah blah." Oh, maybe right. Okay, so shop assistant. The, she's she's the main character. She's working in the shop. It's like dinner time. Someone comes in from the school, steals something. We'll have to figure out what the steal. She goes to the school, chases him, figures out kind of who he might be um, by his bag or something. Um, and it's literally just the worst place it's like really bad time for the shop assistant because someone's going to come into the school and shoot people start shooting people and she she's in the middle of this she's stuck in the school now like she shouldn't be there she's just randomly there um, to chase this kid back she was trying to do the right thing and this it's a completely random kid who's come in um, who's shooting everyone up and then like halfway through she meets she bumps into like this kid who had stole something earlier, so it's kind of like he redeems himself by helping her. He stole something in the beginning of the film, but he helps her escape. Um, within the shootout, okay. the light bulbs can get you know maybe, um, shot out. Maybe because he's like a, a kid who likes nicking stuff, mm -hmm. he's quite good at like stealth tactics. Yeah. yeah. So at the mm -hmm. start, he, we see him stealing stuff from shops really mm -hmm. well. Yeah. But then he redeems himself mm -hmm. by. Getting people to safety because he knows how to yeah. sneak. Or he can One of his yeah, tactics is them. you take a light bulb out, uh -huh. you crush it, and then you yeah. put it on the floor, like in the first Mission Impossible movie, yeah. uh -huh. so you can hear footsteps. Yeah. That's the light bulb. That's the light bulb. There we go. In the shootout. And it's just she's literally just wrong place, wrong time, trying to do the good thing, and this, you know, incident's happened. Um, and obviously she, she will be a little bit older, so she's like, well, I've got to help kids and stuff. Uh, and with that, the person who stole things, uh, like says, he can use his skills. Yeah. Yeah. So and he could be a really young kid. He could be like a twelve-year-old who's just happens to be really good at it. Yeah. She's obviously older. She's wiser, and that's where the help. He's got very particular talents mm -hmm. in stealth tactics, yeah. mm -hmm. stealing things. Yeah. And she is this wise older person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have to work together. It's like a buddy cop movie. Yeah. Right. That's. Do oh, yeah, genre can. Um, at the moment, it is like a thrillery, actiony, actiony, sort of a little bit adventurous, uh, sort of. Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit weird. Not so much Die Hard. It is now film noir. <laughs> Everything's noir. just turned black and white. Everything's really smoky. Ooh, she's having a cigarette. Why do you do this, kid? I can put a chrome filter on the yeah. on the thing. Uh, so yeah. it's now film noir. We could get the smoke machine out. So we're based in maybe it's, okay. The school and the shop assistant is it's not a traditional school for kids. It's a, a school for um, people who shop assistants or some form of shop. So let's pick a, a department store. So you know they're getting they're it's getting a taught. training course. Well, it's just like the first couple of days and they're getting shown around the big, massive department store. It's huge. Um, you know, like four or five floors, you know, five, six entrances. And and does like the mafia come in and shoot it up? Yeah, I think so. So, you know, it's a big department store. It's got a lot of expensive things inside. Um, so oh, new, new people getting wait, shown I'm, around. and What oh. about it is... The shop assistant is a victim to a murder in this warehouse. Yep. She, she or in the department. Someone. I would say keep the keep the same woman. Department store, I would say, because then you can have shop assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. In the war ish. Yeah. Um, there happens to be a photographer who's mm -hmm. going there, photographer, journalist sort of person, and then mm -hmm. there's a shootout that happens. 
Maybe it's, Tommy a, guns. maybe it's a new store, that's why the photographer's there. It's a yeah. grand opening, uh, you know, everyone's in 30s clothes, you know, the, the, the just having this grand opening of this new store. Um, yeah, and someone, the mafia, you know, well, let's hit it on open at night. We can sneak in, we can get in there, if, you know, mix in with the crowd. Um, we can, you know, it's got this department store, it's got, you know, the high end jewels, it's got fur coats, it's, you know, keeping in with that noir style of film. Yeah, and the school could maybe refer to not the location, but a school of people, so like lots of people who are yeah, training. Yeah. And the light bulb can be that, you know, it'll be like a really old fashioned camera with a big yeah. buster light bulb. Yeah. And this person, uh, let's keep it the same character as the shop assistant last time. Mm -hmm. it's, this, yeah. it's this woman who's a photographer. And she, uh, she decides she's in the middle of it. She's gonna start taking photos. She was taking photos of the training day. Yeah, and they were gonna okay. advertise it for the company. Mm -hmm. She just happens to be in when the mafia come. So she starts doing a bit of espionage photography. But the light bulb busts. Yeah. And that's how she starts getting spotted. And then she needs to try and yeah, get Yeah, I mean, away. when she's trying to get away as well, as someone's like got a gun on her, she can click the light bulb and flashes Bad. in his face. <gasps> Yeah, that whole Runs thing. Away, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So yeah, some form of com conflict with whoever's newly owning the store, with you know, the mafia, whoever it is. Someone's not happy. Let's take this over. Right. That works. That's two totally different films. Yeah, it certainly is. It's not as much detective, sort of you would expect from film art, but maybe the photos that she has mm -hmm. are the photos they're looking at yep. and they're trying to figure it out mm -hmm. with detectives and yeah. every time they look at a photo it's a flashback to those scenes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now it's yeah. full noir. Yeah, there's a few different bits and pieces there. So thank you very much for watching another episode of Story in the Can. This week we actually created two completely different films because of the genre change. Uh, let us know what you've come up with. Comments down below. See you next week.